everybody, we're at Move With Joy Studio and we're gonna be doing just a little abdominal series today. So this will be a, about a 10 minute ab series you can do at home, so hope you enjoy. So we're gonna start on our mat, we're gonna be seated and we're gonna have our spine nice and tall, toes plane, toe plane, chest lifted. We're gonna open up our knees, then close the knees round the spine, shift towards the neck, breathe in. Exhale, open up, sit nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, close the knees around the spine. We'll do one more. Open up, sit nice and tall in here. Exhale, close the knees around the spine. And then from here, keep your spine rounded. And we're just going to slide our elbows back. So once you get to this position, if your back is rounded here, we'll lengthen your spine up, chest open, and we're going to pick up our feet. So we're just going to extend the legs out at an angle and pull the knees in. Breathe in. Exhale. We're going to do this for eight. Breathe in. Exhale, seven, breathe in, six, five, keep that breath going, good, here's four, and three, keep that push on, your back as straight as you can, here's two, now on one, you're going to hold those legs out of an angle, and really try to keep them in a place where you feel those abs are the engagement, we're going to drop right heel down, and then left heel down, we're going to go eight, seven, keep the legs out of that diagonal, six, Five, keep that back going. Four, three, almost there. Two, very good. One. Now I want to just pull the knees in around your spine, hug your knees in, and lift your nose right up to your knees. So you're in this little ball position. Stretch your arms and legs out and circle the arms around, hugging. Breathe in. Exhale, circle, hugging. And we're going to go for eight. Good. Here's seven. Keep that back going. Six, and pull those legs in. Five, and pull in. Four, inhale, exhale to pull in. Three, try to keep those shoulder blades off the mat if you can. Here's two, very good. On the last one, you can take a breather and just hug the knees, release your head and neck. Just turn your head side to side, just kind of let that head and shoulders wrap a little bit here. And then we're gonna take the legs straight up, bring our arms open to the side. And if you'd like to bend your knees, you can. That'll be a little bit easier if you need a, a little bit of a modification. Otherwise, straight legs. We're going to bring the legs over to the right hover, engage our core, come center, over to the left hover, engage the core, come center. We're just going to go for eight. Squeeze in and really keep the feet together. Seven, exhale, pull the legs back up. Six, breathe in, exhale, pull the legs back up. Five, exhale, pull the legs back up. Four, exhale, pull the legs back up. Keep the shoulders glued down. Three, pull the legs back up. Here's two, pull the legs back up. You can do one more last time. Beautiful job. Back up. Now bring your hands down by your side, or if you wish, under that lower back, so kind of protecting that lower spine and that tailbone. We're going to rotate the legs to pull out these stands. Heels together, toes apart. Lower the legs to an angle. Flex the feet, bend the knees, pull in. Exhale, push and point the toes away. So you're going out of that angle again. You can keep your head rested here to just focus more on the lower abdominals. And just keep those knees pulling out towards the shoulders. So you have that nice diamond shape. Point to the toes, four, breathing in, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, two, on the last one, hold it out of the diagonal, now curl your chest up, begin crisscrossing those legs, if you want here, you can let your hands go from underneath your hips, and we're going to bring our legs up, two, three, four, and down, six, seven, eight, and up, two, three, four, and down, six, seven, eight, two more sets, two, three, four, and down, six, seven, eight, last one, two, Three, four, and down. Six, seven, eight. Bring your heels together. Pull the legs up. Bring your arms up. Release your upper body. Let's make a big circle with those arms. So arms are going to go overhead. Legs are going to follow as the arms and legs circle around and pull back up. So we're kind of making big circles through the arms, through the legs, pulling down, squeezing the abs, pull back up. Try to keep your lower back as flat as you can as we do this. Just two more. Breathe in. Exhale, pull back up. Keep your lower back pressing into the mat. One more. Okay, back up. Now we reverse. So legs and arms go down. Just to a hover position. Abs engage all the arms and legs out to the side and pull back center. And down. Circle up. Now these are pretty big circles I'm doing. But if you need to start with smaller circles, that is just fine. So if your legs don't want to go down quite as far, that's okay. Just make smaller circles if needed. Let's do one more. Very good job. And back up. Just for a stretch for those legs, open out your legs to a straddle. It's okay if you're more up here. Just stretch out where you can. Stretch into those inner thighs. Maybe flex the feet. 
point the toes, and then let's cross the right leg over left, bend the knees. Twist here, arms reaching to the right, legs to the left, just take a little stretch through that spine, breathe in. Exhale, very good. Let's go ahead, come back up through center, keep right leg over left, extend your left leg, and then draw your right toe all the way up to the side of that left knee. Left hand behind the head, you're gonna take a left elbow over to the right knee, extend the right leg, lift the left leg up. So you're gonna twist, pull right elbow to, or, I'm sorry, left elbow to right knee, then you're gonna stretch that right leg out and lift the left leg up. And we're gonna go for four, and three, and two, and on one. Hold the twist. Both hands behind your head, let's twist it out now. So just bicycle out those legs, I like to aim for toe to knee each time. Helps us hit a really good angle where we're gonna feel those abdominals. Four, and three, and two, and one. Now crossing the left leg over right, bend both knees. Bring your legs to the right, arms to the left. Take a moment to count your breath, three. Twist it out. Big inhale, big exhale. Very good time, just catching your breath. Taking a moment to stretch in between the work here. Very good job. As we come back up, we're going to uncross, extend your right leg, and take your left hand to the side of that right knee. So now, left hand is extended, right hand behind the head, right elbow comes over to the left knee. We push the left leg out as the right leg comes up, and we twist and stretch. So your right leg is essentially just moving down as you twist, and up as you lower your upper body. So reach, and over for four. Twist, and extend for three. Twist and extend for two. Twist and extend for one. Now let's hold that twist again. But this time we're going to stretch and roll the legs straight. We're going to twist it out with two straight legs. Just straight as best they can. So we're going to slow soft bend in your knee, just doing our best to lengthen the legs for four. Three, two, very good. And one. Lower both legs, reach the arms overhead. Flex the feet. Let's take a roll up. So we're going to peel our spine up. Exhale, use your breath, try to keep those heels glued to the ground. Stretch over them. Big breath in. Exhale, roll up to sit tall, engage the core, contract, rolling one vertebrae at a time, down, arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, peel up through each vertebrae, sit nice and tall, stretch over the leg. And rolling up, sit tall, let's contract, roll down, let's do just one more here, in. Exhale, roll up, let's take that big stretch up and over the slow to the floor. Breathing in, exhale, three. Feel free to just hold your hands, your ankles for abs and knees, two. Big inhale, exhale, and then let's roll up to a nice tall spine. Flex our hands up to the side, and we're going to twist twice towards one direction. Inhale, center, exhale, twice the other way. So as you twist, think about pulsing twice, and you have that double pulse. So momentum isn't just what gets you to that other side, you want to kind of Pause that momentum a little further. Inhale, exhale. Belly button towards your spine. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Very good. Back center. Hands forward. Round your spine. Just imagine as, someone's, as if someone's pulling your wrist forward, pulling your waist back. And then roll up lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders, neck, and head. Hands slide behind, behind the back, point the toes, let's lift our hips up, reverse plank. Just take a moment here. Feel that stretch through the front of the shoulders, through the chest, through the abdominals. Four, three, two, very good, on one, release. Let's go to our side. So we're gonna just have a little bit of work for our obliques here. We're gonna cross our ankles, and our top palm is gonna face up, top leg is in front. We're gonna just push, squeeze the legs together, reach up and over, twist under the legs, up, and slowly down. We're gonna do four more of these, so we reach up, twist under, up, and slowly down. Legs squeeze together to push towards that arm that's supporting you. Good, and let's do one more here. Press, and twist, and up, and down. Very good, now from here, we're gonna push up one more time, squeeze those legs up full, and bring that bottom knee down to support you. We're gonna lift up that top leg and pull elbow to knee in for four. And three, and two, 
and one. Very good. Bring that knee in. Feel a side stretch as you just pull the knee in and begin to sit your hips off to that side where your feet just were. Just feel that big sideways stretch. Reach up and over. So we call this picking daisies, like we're picking daisies on one side up, placing them in the basket on the other side, and picking them up, placing in a basket on the other side. So this just helps us to work on stretching out the sideways as well as strengthening the core, the lower back, the abdominals, breathe in. Exhale, one more time, coming up, very good. Now we're gonna reverse what we did on the other side. So we're gonna actually start here with this top arm and leg reaching in and out. We're just gonna pull in and out for four, and three, and two, and one, very good, hold it up. Bring that leg in, bend and stretch away. So we come into that big side stretch on this side. And of course, we'll get that side plank in a moment. So just breathe. Very good. Now, once you're ready, legs should be on the opposite side. Cross the top ankle in front. Top palm faces up. We're going to breathe in. Exhale, so squeeze the legs together. Reach up. Twist under. Reach up and slowly down. Up top. Leg is in front. Under. Up. And down. Keep that breath going. Reach. Under. Up and down, almost there, breathe in, exhale, inhale and down, last time, lift, twist under, twist up, we're going to switch now to a full plank and just face our back, so I'm crossing the feet, stepping nice and strong, just hold your plank, see if you can point your right toe and just pulse that thigh out, so we're working the lower abdominals and those planks, eight, seven, five, four, three, Two, on one more, lower that right foot. Make sure those hips don't raise like a downward dog. Stay in your plank, left leg lifts, and let's pulse it up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Very good, on one more, lower that left foot, and let's gently lower our upper body and just curl and stretch our chest, let's stretch out those abs. Twist your shoulders a little to the left. Center, twist your shoulders a little to the right. Let's do one more exercise to strengthen our back before we are done for today. So we're going to start with just a modification of this swan dive where we bend our elbows and squeeze our legs up. And you're going to feel your glutes squeeze, your hamstrings squeeze, and then you push with your arms, stretch your chest. So for those of you that are new to this exercise, you can just continue this rocking, engaging through the legs, pointing through your toes, reaching the legs back. Those of you that want something maybe a little bit more challenging, if you're ready for that, you can reach your hands out and catch. Okay, don't worry if your arms don't fully extend when you catch. So your catch may look like this, okay? So it's all up to you where your back is, what you're ready for today. If you want a little bit more though, reach out. Maybe catch up high. So this is for those of you that have pretty strong back and are ready for this full swan dive without that hand support. But continue that hand support if you need to. We just have two more. Very good, last one. Beautiful job. Hands under the shoulders, round your spine. Hips, heels, stretch into child's pose. Take a moment, just breathe in here. Stretch that back out. Deep breaths in the neck. Very good, tuck your toe, go into a downward dog, just walk your feet out. And then as you take your time, walk your hands up to your feet, hug your legs. Let's take right hand down, left arm to get big twist. Switch sides, big twist. Very good, and back center. Hands just move up behind the back, draw the arms down, stretch the shoulders, chest up or down, bring it. Exhale, soften the knees, release the hands, take a slow roll up. We'll just take one big breath in. We'll stand in a Pilates knee stance, hands together, toes apart, breathe in. Exhale, and hopefully you feel ready for your day. Your core is hopefully nice and engaged. And thank you so much for joining.